Tony Greco, General Manager, Technical Policy here in Canberra on budget night. This is the first budget for Scott Morrison, our new Treasurer. He's, he has a very difficult task of trying to find some savings to pass through in tax cuts. The big winners on the night is small business entities. He's made some very significant changes in relation to um, the definition of a small business entity, in particular for incorporated companies. The threshold goes from $2 million to $6 million to $10 million, so quite a sizable increase in the eligibility criteria for incorporated small business. They will have access to a full suite of tax concessions, including the small asset write-off $20,000. The unincorporated businesses, we're talking uh, partnerships, sole traders, trusts, they also um, receive an additional uh, tax incentive. The, the tax discount on their business income goes from 5% to uh, 8%. And for other incorporated businesses, there will be a staggered approach to uh, tax cuts over the next 10 years. There's also, as, as anticipated, a lot of changes in relation to superannuation. Some are good and some are not so good. The, the one that we have issues with is the reduction in the concessional super cap. At the moment it's 35,000 for those over 50 or 30,000 for everyone else. There will be a universal cap of 25,000 for all. There will also be some, some good measures and or some good measures have been announced tonight in relation to adding a bit more flexibility. Uh, people who are in and out of the workforce will be able to go back and top up. There's also uh, incentives for uh, low income earners. They'll also receive the rebate that's currently existing, which was going to be abolished, that will be extended. So that adds a bit of fairness back to the system. People with excessive superannuation balances will, will find tonight some unfortunate uh, uh, announcements. Um, balances in excess of that amount will not receive uh, favourable tax treatment. They will be able to either withdraw or uh, put that money in the accumulation phase. So they'll still be subject to a lower rate of tax, but uh, the existing uh, uh, benefits in, in relation to when you're in pension mode and, and paying no tax will not be extended to balances in excess of $1.64 million. Uh, as far as the forward estimates, we're still looking at uh, budget deficits. We're, we won't uh, be in surplus or proposed surplus until 2020-21, so there'll be quite some time. So it, it will be quite a lengthy period of uh, budget deficits, but there is a plan to reduce that to a surplus in, in the year 2020-21.